remember that when we introduced the status of revolution, we said that, hey, suppose you have a positive function that has continuous derivative and we are rotating this about x-axis. And this is the formula when we have the rotation about x-axis. Now I expect you to ask, what if we rotate this about y-axis? If we rotate it about y-axis, then the area of the surface is going to be the integral. Now you have two pi times x square root of one plus f prime of x to the second power d x. Take a look at the following example. In this example, we have a parabola y equals to x squared, and we are rotating about y axis from the point one and one to the point two and four. We want to know what is the area of this surface. So let us follow the formula. So our S is equal to the integral two pi x square root of one plus the derivative, which is two x to the second power dx. And well, our x ranges between one and stops at two. So S is equal to the integral one to two, two pi x square root of one plus four x squared dx. Well, now we can easily apply u sub method. u is one plus four x squared and du is eight x dx. Very good. So s becomes, well, here we go. One fourth times pi, the integral of square root of u du. Remember that the integral of square root of u du is equal to the integral u to a half du, which is equal to, well, we are adding one to the exponent, it becomes three halves, so two thirds u to three halves. So s is pi over four and times two over three, my u is nothing but one plus four x squared. And x ranges between, one to two. So S is equal to, let's simplify this more, pi over three, one plus four times four raised to three halves. Don't forget the exponent, minus one plus four raised to three halves. So let us simplify this as much as we can. S is equal to pi thirds. And here we have one plus 16 or 17 times square root of 17 minus five times square root of five. Well, here you can use a calculator to simplify this as well. Calculator to simplify. And this is three under the denominator. 